Yo, 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 welcome back to Grapple, guys. I'm Cartoon Cory, and guess what? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about some wild SpongeBob mistakes. Okay, so first up, our first set of mistakes can be found in the episode Squid's Day Off, an episode all about Squidward taking a day off of work and making Spongebob do all of the hard work. You get to run the cash register. The cash register. Squidward, who's going to work the grill? You are. It's part of the promotion I mentioned earlier. You're going to take the orders, then you're going to make them. Now the first mistake in this episode is pretty bad, as during this scene, take a look at Squidward's neck. I don't like your tone. I'm sure you are. How's that? Just do your jobs. Aye aye, Mr. Tentacles. Yeah, normally Squidward's neck is like the same color as his skin, so definitely a mistake. And I've got another one, as take a look at this. SpongeBob, stop ringing this bell. I was just testing it. I will ring the bell when there's an order, but there's no customers. Here, take a close look as Squidward's legs are like transparent. It's like the animators forgot to color them in and it looks really bad. Oh, and there's actually a third one in this episode as take a look at the emergency sign at the hospital. Yeah, they spelt it wrong. Okay, Mr. Krabs. Get plenty of rest, and if things don't seem right, come back. <laughs> SpongeBob, you can't beat me! <laughs> okay, so this next one's really funny, as there's two very obvious mistakes in one scene. Let's take a look at this first one. It has to do with SpongeBob's shirt. And I mean, where does it all go? Huh? You know what I mean? What smells rotten and puts people to sleep? Um, not just gas? No! Your act! <laughs> Did you catch it? Well, SpongeBob's missing the white part of his shirt. It's just all brown. Normally, SpongeBob looks like this. He has a white shirt, as you guys already know. But in this one shot, he looks like this. Now, here's the question, though. Did you guys catch the other mistake in this scene? Well, let's take a look at Incidental 40. As you can see, he's wearing a white shirt. What smells rotten? and puts people to sleep. But then when he tries to diss or burn SpongeBob with his weak insults, he's now shirtless. Um, not just gas? No! Your act! <laughs> so the animators, they like drew him with a shirt and then seconds later removed his shirt? Talk about a weird mistake. Let's move on. Our next mistake can be found in the episode, Bossy Boots, but let's just get right into it as it's kind of complicated. So during this scene, as you can see, there is this car in the background, okay? It's there. <laughs> now, as the scene progresses and Pearl and SpongeBob leave the shot, that car that we just seen disappears. <laughs> Same old man crab sold the crusty crab. Hey, lady! Do you know where we can get something to eat around here? That's it! I quit! It didn't drive away because it happens in like seconds. It seems the animators drew it, as you can see here, but then forgot to include it in the next shot, thus giving us a weird mistake. And hey, that ain't it, as during this scene, we have another mistake. So as you can see, in this picture of a sea unicorn, the sea unicorn has a horn on its head. You can see it right here. Reduces stress for only five easy payments to $9.95. Mr. Krabs, Pearl is ruining the Krusty Krabs! But for some reason, later on in the shot, the horn just disappears during this shot. Pearl is saving the Krusty Krabs! What would we do without these beautiful $20 sea unicorn wall hangers? The animators just forgot to draw it again, thus making for another really weird mistake. Like, geez, this episode is full of mistakes, and guys, I've got some crazier ones coming up, so stay tuned. Next up, we have the episode Dying for Pi, a really good episode that unfortunately has two mistakes. The first mistake has to do with Squidward, and it happens at the ending of the episode. You need to see it in slow motion for you to really catch it, but take a look. You 
want me to explode? Yes! That's what I've been waiting for! Okay, I'll try. <laughs> Gary! You are gonna finish your dessert! And you are gonna like it! So as you just seen, a piece of Squidward's head gets cut off. Like I said, you need to see it in slow motion, but look, it's just missing. There's a chunk of his head just cut off. Now to be honest, the other mistake isn't too bad, but it's still a mistake. Now at the beginning of the episode, we see Squidward arrive at work, and look, something's missing. Normally, the Chum Bucket is across the street from the Krusty Krab, as you can see in this shot, and there's even a little path. But in this episode's opening shot, the path and the Chum Bucket are gone. The opening of the episode Big Pink Loser has a massive mistake. It's really bad, but it's easy to miss. Take a look. Let's see if you guys catch it. Hold still, Gary. Wow. Almost done. What's it for? See for yourself. For outstanding achievement and achievement. So here's the thing. Patrick is supposed to come through that door, and we even hear the door open, but as you can see in the slow motion footage, the door never opens. <laughs> Patrick just pops in, he just spawns in randomly and knocks over the house of cards. Like seriously, listen to it again and listen for the door opening. They put a door opening sound in, but then didn't animate the door opening. It's really funny. Hold still, Gary. Wow. Almost done. The other mistake is just as bad. Here, take a look. It was sure nice of Mr. Krabs to give me a job. And at $50 an hour, too. When I started working here, I had to pay Mr. Krabs $100 an hour. Do I get my award yet? You have to work for it, remember? Dude, what happened to Patrick's mouth? It's just gone. The animators just forgot to draw his mouth for a frame, and it looks really weird. One of my favorite season 2 episodes is Procrastination, an episode where Spongebob needs to write an essay, but the dude just cannot focus, he just cannot get any work done. Gee, this is harder than I thought. <laughs> Come on, Spongebob! It should be against the law to have to write an essay on such a super sailorific sunshiny day. Now this episode has two really funny mistakes. Now the first one has to do with Spongebob's face. Let's see if you guys can catch it. Pants! You get back here this instant! Pants! Um, where is Spongebob's mouth? It's just missing. I think he needs his mouth. Now the other isn't as bad, but let's see if you can catch this one. It has to do with Spongebob's pants, more specifically his belt. Uh, I'm joking! Water! <laughs> Yeah, like I said, not that big of a deal, but Spongebob's belt is supposed to be all black, but one of the parts of his belt is white. Not that big of a deal, but still a mistake. Now that's probably going to wrap it up for today's video guys, but before you click off, a massive shout out to all of you guys watching, seriously, I'm very appreciative. And an even bigger shout out to the Premiere Gang, everybody who's here at the Premiere, say something in chat, you're a part of the Premiere Gang and I appreciate it. By the way, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe as I'll be responding to the comments of all subscribers on this video. So if you're subscribed and you comment, I'll pretty much respond for sure. It's that simple. Anyways, though, I love you guys. Go watch this video again. Go watch it entirely again, guys. It'll really help YouTube share it more. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow with more content. Peace.